Overrated, underrated. The use of corn to kill deer. Overrated. Just be and this is personal preference because I, I just, I like a bit of the old school going out and learning the animal, learning where it's bedding, learning where it's feeding, learning how it's traveling to and from both of those places. Baiting an animal, it, it kind of takes away a little bit of that chess match. Um, tipsy odds more in your favor than I think they should be. I still think it's fair chase. It's just not something I would personally do, but at the same time, if that's what you do, I don't think it diminishes the hunt very much in any way. And if you go out and you shoot a tremendous deer at a feeder or over a pile of corn, I don't think that's how you're going to remember that hunt or you're going to remember the animal. I think you're going to remember the experience and the recovery and the pictures and celebrating it with your friends and family. But for me, I'm just not a, a hunt over corn or bait type of guy. Overrated, underrated. Your thoughts on the movie Top Gun Maverick. That is an incredibly underrated movie. That's how Hollywood should be. It is, it's how Hollywood should be. I mean, it's action, it's romance, there's a story, good acting, good... S the cinematography is incredible. It makes you feel an array of emotions throughout the film. You laugh, you're excited, you're on the edge of your seat, you're worried, you don't want Maverick to die. You want Rooster and Maverick to be friends. You want that father-son relationship. At the end, happy ending, underrated, criminally underrated. Top five movie all time for me, 100%. Overrated, underrated. Hinge cutting, talk to me, Goose. <laughs> Overrated, for sure. I think, hinge, I think there are just several better options out there made available to a landowner to improve the quality of their timber to inc whatever you're trying to accomplish or you're thinking you're accomplishing hinge cutting a tree i think there's a better alternative out there hack and squirt girdle and spray flush cut logging operations actually put a little money in your pocket and have the work done for you on a professional level i think is safer and more effective i think on a small scale hinge cutting has its place if you're hinge cutting individual trees but on a big picture if you're hinge cutting large acreages or your goal is to create a hinge cut bedding area i think it's very overrated and i think you're doing more harm than good because it is going to be a very long time before that forest can regenerate to the place where it's productive for wildlife overrated underrated encouraging people as you do to go on your type of deer drive underrated i think everybody under the sun should make it a point to go on a deer drive as often as they can during the summer. And a deer drive can be whatever you want it to be. Just hop in the car or truck, drive back roads in your area with a pair of binoculars, listen to your favorite music, take a camera along if you're into that, and just enjoy wildlife and deer with no other agenda other than that. Just to go out and enjoy the summer afternoon, enjoy the animal, take in the beauty, appreciate them. I mean, it's therapeutic. Overrated, underrated, pushing the panic button on species like rough grouse. I think that's underrated. I think for any species to be literally listed as endangered in certain states or to be trending downward in certain states and regions like the rough grouse or the wild turkey and for us as land and habitat and wildlife managers for that trend to be happening while we're managing land and habitat and wildlife. I think we have a huge responsibility to leave wildlife and land better than we found it. That is the essence of conservation and stewardship and leaving species in a worse position than when we found them. When we started managing, I think is indicative of not necessarily our personal work that we're doing on our properties. Obviously a lot of these factors that are that are contributing to the decline of rough grouse or tur and turkeys are beyond our control. But I think it's underrated. These animals are absolutely worth fighting for. They deserve every ounce of our passion and energy that we can give them to get, to get those numbers at least stabilized and ultimately, hopefully trending in an upward direction. For that to happen on our watch does not sit well with me. It's our responsibility to leave land and wildlife better than we found it. Overrated or underrated. The public should have more say in the management of the state's wildlife 
speechless. Overrated or underrated, the public should have more say. I think that that is in, I think that's overrated. I think it's, it, it sounds selfish, but we as sportsmen and hunters who are actively participating on the land and with the wildlife, I think we should have the majority of the say. I think the public should have some say for sure. I think we should listen to all sides of every argument. It helps us open our mind to all possible solutions. It keeps us sharp. It keeps us educated and informed. I think they should have some say for sure because I don't think we have all the answers and in some situations obviously we need some help from outside influences but I think the people paying the bills, putting boots on the ground, doing the blood, sweat and tears, investing the time, energy and resources whether that's financial, physical or otherwise, I think we should have the majority of the say at the end of the day in how our lands and wildlife are managed.